All right, quick video, guys. Let's see what we got. All right, morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. I have two pops I want to talk about and one soda I want to open up. Um, we got the Queen of Hearts. This is the only one I have not opened up yet. Luckily so far, um, out of the three sealed I had, two of them have been chases so far. But I have not got the Queen of Hearts yet, so we're going to open that. And we'll open that after I show you the two things I want to talk about really quick. Uh, the first one here real fast was, I'm trying to think here, about two plus years ago when I first got into this. There was, um, I watched a TV show, The Flash, and I liked The Flash. And there was a Killer Frost pop that was dropped as a, I think, a New York Comic Con one. So I went to Hot Topic. This was like right before the mall closed, and I walked in. They still had one of these Killer Frosts left. But I noticed too, all around the table in which all these con pops were sitting, there was one called Brooke. And it was um, a skull, and it was anime. Of course, I didn't know anything about anime at the time. But I know there was at least four to five of those pops sitting there. Now, if you know the pop I'm talking about right now, and I'll try to find a video, a piece of, I will try to find a picture and pop it up somewhere up here. Now you know that's at least a couple hundred dollars a piece. Of course, the Killer Frost I have is been fluctuating between about 80 to 100 bucks, so on and forth. So it's not something to sneeze at but i remember those brook pops being there and now they are worth a a couple hundred dollars a piece so what i noticed earlier this year this was a pre-order on amazon and this got pushed back and back but i at least got this one i know it's not the same one but this reminds me of the ones I left behind on that table at Hot Topic sometime two plus years ago. That's one piece. I've never seen this anime before, but on the most part, the the pop is pretty, pretty, pretty cool looking, pretty sick looking. So we got that. Um, another one. <clears throat> I don't have any Star Wars pops. Um... Right before this video was filmed, I pulled a General Grievous out of a mystery box here about a week ago. So, trying to keep up with things, I'm tr now uh, ordered one off of Epic Collectibles, and this was the Mace Windu. It is a special edition with this purple lightsaber, but this is just more of a speculative type of thing. Even Epic has their own pop protectors with St. Epic collectibles on top. So I got this to add to my fledgling little Star Wars collections that I have. Not many of them, but I have some. And the last one we got from, it was from Funko Shop. It was on the day of the black light drops. And of course, too, the black light sodas were, I couldn't get any of them. But I went back later in the day and they had this one still up for um, purchase. It's just um, the Queen of Hearts with the King. This is only one of these Black Light Pops of Alice in Wonderland I did get. I'm okay with that. Um, eventually, there might be some more floating around. We'll grab some here, in, in, here soon. All right, so <clears throat> let's try this one. This is the Queen of Hearts. This is a sealed. This was off of eBay. I think I paid... $20 for it, maybe. So, let's see what we have. At least the stickers on the inside of the Queen of Hearts here, so. Alright. First can, only can magic. And we have a common. So, okay, so we got a common Alice, a common Queen of Hearts, and a common Mad Hatter. So I need to get a Cheshire Cat to get all my commons out of the way. 
This one's, of course, everyone has seen this on the most part anymore. So, this was the Black Light Queen of Hearts. Making sure that is the case. Yeah, green face. So, all right. <clears throat> just wanted to throw that out there. So, just in case something would happen. And I would pull a chase. I would at least have it documented that I did. Leave a comment below, guys. So, until next time.